Welcome back to ESBR Boxing's YouTube channel. As always, I'm delighted to be joined by Greg. And this video, we are looking at that odds. And of course, we are talking about the Unified Heavyweight Championship of the World fight between the Unified Champion, Alexander Rusik, who's fighting for the first time since his fight in Saudi Arabia last year against Anthony Joshua. And he is defending his belt against Britain's Daniel Dubois. Greg, thanks for joining me, mate. And this fight's kind of crept up on us, I think. Looking forward to seeing Usyk back in the ring for the first time in over a year. And um, obviously Dubois, I haven't seen him since the back end of last year on the Fury Chisora 3 undercard. Firstly, before I um, ask you for your first betting tip, are you excited for this fight? Paul, great to speak to you as always, buddy. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it because you say that perfect there. It has creeped up on us. I don't think that this fight has been... I don't want to make it a negative, but I don't think it's been the best promoted. I don't think I've seen too much too much news and things on social media, a lot of training videos, etc. But, you know, it's one of those ones where you wake up on Monday and you think, God, it's so sick to buy a fight week. So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, me too, mate. Definitely. Anytime Usyk fights, it's it's compulsive viewing, really, isn't it? Especially for us boxing boxing purists. But without further ado, mate, um, do you want to give me your first, your first and most fancied betting tip for this fight? Yeah, thanks very much, Paul. I've looked at some of the odds and some of them, I can understand where people are coming from, but like with Usyk to stop Dubois at 4 to 9 and things, like Dubois a tough guy. He went 10 rounds with Joe Joyce, and Joe Joyce hit him with a lot, and Dubois took it, and it ended up, I think it was a, a broken eye socket that really mostly stopped that fight. First tip that I've got, Paul, is I think Dubois will not start off crazily gung ho. I think he will be reserved to try to be behind the jab and catch Usyk coming in. So my first tip is for Alexander Usyk to stop Daniel Dubois in round 7-12. to 12, And that's currently priced at the moment round about 5-2, to two, which I think is great odds. Yeah, 100% really good odds there. Um, probably better odds than I would have expected for that outcome, to be quite honest with you. You know that for him to stop, uh, to stop Dubois in the first half of the fight was a lot shorter. And I would probably edge with yourself, I think, that Mid the late is where I'm looking. Um, five to two. Can't really disagree with you at all there. Kind of links in, yeah. uh, partially with my one. Um, which I mentioned to you off camera is as well. I believe Usyk will get the stoppage here, and I think it could potentially maybe come a little bit earlier. I'm gonna go for the middle third of the fight, so rounds five to eight, and I'm seeing odds of eleven to five there, so just better than two to one. And the reason I'm saying this, obviously, yeah, brilliant Dubois. Um, did well against Joyce. Um, was that I know he was a favourite at the time, but then looking back on what Joyce has gone on to do with the fights against Parker and stuff, and then I know he got beat by Zhang and stuff. But at the time, you look back on that and think, you know what, Joe Joyce um, is a tough, tough man, and Dubois did well to go uh, get going late with him. And I think that although that it was the case, Greg, I can't get the three knockdowns that Dubois suffered in the first round of Lorena out of my head. Um, yeah. I'm not saying that he's got a glass jaw or a suspect chin or anything, Dubois. I, I don't think that's the case at all. I suppose when you're getting hit by, you know, 17, 18 stone men, you're probably going to go down. But I know he went on to win that fight by stoppage himself in the third round. But if you're getting dropped by Kevin Lorena, who might well be a harder puncher than Usyk, um, yes, but he's nowhere near the skill level as Usyk. Usyk's timing, speed, shot selection, footwork, everything is going to be better than Lorena's. And I think I kind of agree with what you're saying. I don't necessarily think this is Dubois is going to go in there and say, right, I've got three or four rounds. I'm just going to th throw the kitchen sink at Usyk. I don't necessarily think that's the case. But I do see Usyk taking over in the mid-rounds and not stopping him whenever he wants, but something along those lines. Like I really do expect him to stop him in probably, probably the middle rounds. Yeah, I think I think I agree with you, Paul. And you know, that was probably the second bet that I was going to give um, is rounds five to eight. And I agree with you. Now that we look back and you think of the whole Kevin Lorena situation, it, it was a bit, it was a bit frightening to see Dubois so um, vulnerable in the first couple of rounds. I was thinking, what's happened to this guy? But I don't know. You can read so many things into it. The following following that fight, he's left Shane McGuigan. He's with another trainer now. Um, it'll be really interesting, but I just think that 
Dubois must be looking at this as though this is my big shot and it might be my one and only shot. I've I've got to go in there. I've got to be razor focused and and stages go for this. That's what makes me be surprised if he just goes in and he gets caught inside three rounds. That I would I would then question Daniel Dubois' desire because so many guys have fought us and that's not happened to them and they're not any tougher than Daniel Dubois. So. Yeah, I'm really intrigued to see this fight. And betting wise, I, I think there's a few good prices out there. Yeah, definitely. Um, what you alluded to there about Usyk hasn't really—I don't think he stopped anyone early since you know way, way back before he was fighting at world yeah. level, I believe. Um, so yeah, I don't necessarily see it being a really early night for Usyk. One question I did want to ask you, and um, well, there's two more questions. Firstly, Dubois, right? Team, your team Dubois, um. You're a massive Daniel Dubois fan, blah, 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 blah. If you are, is there value in backing him to win this fight? I don't think it would be on points. So is there any value at all in your eyes, Greg, in backing Dubois to win the fight by a knockout? I'm seeing odds of 9-1 to one for that. Yeah. The, the, Daniel, he's a big, big heavyweight and he's proven to punch hard. Um, Daniel Dubois, so of course, it, it can happen to anyone. You go back, you look at guys like... Oliver McCall, Lennox Lewis was so much better than Oliver McCall, but Oliver McCall caught him and knocked him out. James Buster Douglas, he knocked out Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's a much better fighter. These things can just happen, Paul. Um, so if I'm sitting there, my two bets maybe on the night are Usyk to win in round 7 to 12 at value, but say you want to win your money back if, you, if you're if you going to lose that bet and say, for example, there's nothing wrong with sticking a couple of pounds on Dubois. I think I've seen round 7 to 12 for Dubois. I think... Genuinely think I've seen as wide as 25 to 1 for the second half of the fight. So these things can happen, Paul. Nothing would really surprise me in boxing anymore. But as an outside bet, yeah, I think I think I would stick a couple of pounds on that, but not too many. Yeah, yeah. I think I think about a five pound maximum maybe there for me if I was the I was to back that one. Second question, Greg, that I was going to ask you just kind of before we finish up here. Um this is Usyk's going to be Usyk's fifth fight at heavyweight. Obviously, the first fight, yep. he got the stoppage against um, Charles Witherspoon. Then he fought Chisora, which went the distance. And then he fought Joshua back-to-back, both going the distance as well. So three of his four fights of heavyweight have gone the distance. His last three have all gone the distance. Do you see any value in Usyk's decision here? Again, it's 13-5. to five. Uh, Those odds, no. Um, I think I would need something a bit wider than that to, to tempt me. And I just look at, like we see, we talk about Kevin Lorena hurting him. We look at um, Joe Joyce, who's a good fighter, very sturdy, punches relatively hard. Dubois is going to be... He's, it, it, more along the lines of Usyk is going to be very tricky against Dubois and he's going to be changing angles. It's not easy for a big man to start pivoting to the left, pivoting to the right. So that's why I think that it, would just, it might overwhelm him and he'll be exhausted and stop him. Um, with class in the second half of the fight. So, to answer your question, Paul, no, I think that the odds would need to be a little bit wider than that to tempt me. Yeah, I would tend to agree with you, mate, really. Um, and that's, I suppose we can't really talk about much more else, Greg. This is all about yeah. um, the, the Usyk and the Bois fight in terms of betting. But yeah, thanks very much for your time, as always, mate. Appreciate it. Be sure to check out all the rest of our um, content, guys. Lots of lots of big fight breakdowns, um, deep dives written content surrounding this fight um, and I'm sure check out their channel for all types of other content including interviews and um, yeah stuff like that as well Greg thanks for your time as always mate I appreciate it and I'll speak to you again soon thanks very much Paul